Are you recording? How's it going? Things to expect when dating an Irish person. Make sure to have your mini thirst extinguisher, cause it's gonna get hot. Are you having that? Okay. Okay, so the first thing you should expect when you're dating an Irish person, male or female, we're going to want to bang on the first night. Now just remember, don't give it to them unless they're wearing a leather jacket. Do you know what I mean? Like, do you know what I mean? Whoa, horse. Do you have a square point? Square point, that's the first square point. Look at that. Somebody sat on a point glass. Somebody sat on it. Look at that. Look at that. I've seen bigger than yours. She must have been on a bit cabbages, so she must have been. She must have been on a bit cabbages, so she must have been. Oh, she's tasty, but she's not too tasty. Do you know what I mean? Like, just like an Irish person. Not too tasty, but tasty enough. Okay, so the next thing you should expect when you're dating an Irish person is that we like to relieve ourselves a lot. We like to fart a lot. We like to fart a lot. Because Irish people secretly find farts funny. It keeps us together for decades, even if they hate each other. So if you can stand the stink, you'll stay with them forever. Okay, so as I get another drink, here's a commercial break. Guys all over Ireland are playing with themselves and having so much fun. Okay, so things to expect. Ooh, number three, when you're dating an Irish person. That's three, I can still read three. Irish people fall in love very quickly. Very quickly, so keep a big stick handy and put your ovaries under lock and key. Put your ovaries under lock and What's happening to me? What's happening to me? Look at that thing sticks back from Irish people, a big head. Are you having that? So I've got Samuel Adams here, it should be called Jerry Adams. I'm drinking Jerry Adams, I'm drinking Jerry Adams. I sound like Return of the Jedi. I sound like Return of the Jedi. <sighs> Men have ovaries, yeah, they're just above our willy and below our belly button. <laughs> That's a square pint glass. Did you ever see a square pint glass before? It's not a pint glass, it's a vase. I'm after killing the plant, I'm a plant killer. Okay, so another thing to expect when dating an Irish person is that we do like a drink. The stereotype is right, but uh, we will swap the pint of beer for a pint of pants. For a bite of pants, do you know what I mean? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, so smells of daisy. That smells of daisy, doesn't it? Must be a farmer's daughter. She must have had a fine pair of gasoline tanks on her. Oh, that smells of cabbage. If a woman dresses up in sexy cabbage, send me a photo. Oh, all the women send me photos of you dressed up as cabbages. Cabbage. Okay, so I've got a little something extra here. That's all the things you should really expect when you're dating an Irish person. Oh, any good Irish man knows to get a good Irish woman dressed like a complete fool. It's on me knee. Just dressed like a complete fool, yeah? And the good ones will see the age in you and want to spend the next two decades cleaning up. Do you know what I mean? Like, do you know what I mean? And a tip for all the women out there looking for Irish men. Irish men, we like to be tickled. Do you know what I mean? Teeth tickled. And I think everybody knows what that means. I think everybody knows what that means. I think everybody knows what that means. Do you know what I mean? So that's it. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Get your pants to subscribe. Look at that. Look at that. And please, please, please let me know. Are you having that? Because I am. Just giving me cabbage a little haircut here. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I'm giving it a step cut. Look at that! Look at that! Ed. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? If you want to see more, just press subscribe.